Hi guys, my name is Adrian and in today's video I wanted to talk about the minimum requirements that you need as a junior developer to be able to apply for a job. Because these are sometimes a bit confusing and I know that minimum requirements for junior developers are all over the place. When I'm having a look at job positions online, when I'm going online uh, job descriptors, I see all sorts of stuff. Some junior developers just need their basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, whereas other junior developers might need five to 10 years in Deno or something ridiculous that doesn't even make sense. And this is really confusing for a lot of people. It's really confusing, especially if you actually are a junior developer and you're starting out and you're thinking to yourself, how can I possibly have this much experience if I haven't even gotten my first job? So it's one of those things that I think varies a lot. And there's a few aspects to the reasoning behind that. The very first, I think, is the company themselves. As a company, depending on whether you're large or small and how many staff you have and even how big the team is in development will really speak to the job requirements as a junior developer. Because I think that if you're coming in from a small company, then the job requirements for a position as a junior developer will be a lot higher. Whereas a large company, the job requirements for a minimum position might be a lot lower. Now, why is this? What, what makes a larger company require less job requirements for a junior developer? Well, it's simply because usually a larger company has a lot more money to play with and a lot more resources to play with. This means that they might have a team of developers in the background and this team already has most of the fundamentals for building their application. The application itself might already be built out and they just need more hands on deck. It's sort of like having a ship that's already built and they just need some extra people to help out getting it manned and essentially run. This means that they might have a technical lead. They might have a few senior developers as well as a team of junior developers. And it means that when they're posting up a job position for a junior developer, they don't need too much. They're ready to help people out. So it's strange, but yes, a larger company will have less job requirements for a junior developer than a small company. And this also means that when you are a junior, you're starting out on your very first job and you need to apply to a place that will help you learn, will help you develop as a developer. A place that's larger is one of the best to go because that's where you might have a team around you. You might have essentially some senior developers mentoring you and helping you along the way. And what's the difference between a smaller company? Well, a smaller company, they don't have that time and money. And this means that by not having that amount of time and money, they might not have a large team in development. They might just have a single developer that is along in that space. They might not even be a senior developer per se. They might just be a regular developer that don't, doesn't have the time to mentor you. At a smaller company, they might not have the money either to help train you up. This means that at a smaller company, the requirements to apply as a junior developer will be a lot higher because the expectation is that you'll start working immediately. And this means that you might not have the time to relearn your HTML. It might not mean that you have time to learn React or Git or version control. You just have to start working immediately on the projects they might have, have at hand. It also means that the projects they might have haven't even started yet. And you're going to have to run them from beginning to end by yourself. And this can be a very scary thing as a junior developer. And while I've seen it happen, and it doesn't sometimes happen very well, but it still gets done, the main aspect to that is that you'll be thrown into the fire and you'll be expected to thrive. Now, for me personally, I like that, but I'm a different sort of beast where I don't really care about having a safety net. I like to sort of learn on my own. But I know that everyone's a little bit different and some people prefer to work in teams and have a mentor behind them. So my recommendation, especially if you're starting out, is to start out at a larger company. There's so many benefits to this as well. It's not just having a mentor or a senior and helping you train along the way. It'll be easier to apply for a larger company simply because of not only those job requirements being a lot lower, but the availability for positions to be a lot higher. Sometimes they might hire five to 10 developers in a single go, whereas a small company might only be able to hire one. 
It also means that when you get thrown into a larger company and you don't have many job requirements, you just know your basic HTML, CSS and JavaScript, it means that they'll be able to train you on how to do things properly. This is something you won't get at a smaller company because sometimes you won't have the time to be able to do things properly. You just need to get them done. But at a large company, there's a, um, there's a very important aspect on making sure that things are done properly. And this means that they're done securely. There are tests to make sure that there are no bugs and errors and that systems don't crash. These sorts of tidbits and experience are things that will help you along the whole journey of your development. And it's stuff that you might miss out on if you're starting off at a smaller company for your first junior developer position. And yes, for junior developers, I personally think that the only real things that you need is just knowing your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You don't need to know how to use Git or PHP or MySQL. You don't even need, how to, need to know how to use React. A lot of these things can be learned along the way. But as a junior developer, you're just getting started and you need someone to work with to help you improve and grow. In terms of a developer at a junior company, at a small company, these things are taken for granted. They expect you to be able to know everything from almost sometimes doing a full stack system by yourself. And juniors normally have to figure these things out on their own if they're at smaller companies. But at a larger company, you'll get to work on projects that are already complete and that you'll be able to learn from so that in the future, if you do want to create your own project, if you even want to swap from a larger company to a smaller company, you'll do a lot better. Anyway, these are my thoughts on job requirements and how to gain an entry position into a company, whether it's small or large. Again, my recommendation is go to a large company. And this is my own experience that I benefit a lot from when I went into my own large company, but it might be something I talk about in the future. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.